My name is Sai Kiang Lim. I'm a scientist. I hold the title of uh, research director at the Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology, ASTAR in Singapore. We were the first to discover that MSA secrete exosomes and these exosomes was the active agent. The exosomes is simple yet very complex and it has the ability to do many things. So for many diseases which are very complex, uh, we do not expect that a single drug or single molecule is going to be able to treat that disease. So exosomes having a fairly large cargo of having fairly large number of molecules has the potential to address um, very complex diseases. And that's why mm, we are all very hopeful that this could um, lead to treatments for many complex diseases. So Bjorn Cho, um, he came to Singapore um, to talk about exosomes. I was very surprised. That was way back before he started Exocobio. And uh, he wanted to know more about my technology. So he came to Singapore to talk to me. And we had very interesting talk. And uh, you know, Bjorn Cho, he's a very energetic guy. He's, uh, fantastic uh, to talk to. He's always doing something very exciting. And so um, I got to know him. And then the next thing I know, he set up this company, Exoco Bio. Exoco Bio is probably the only exoso exosome company that has been a GMP facility for the purpose of their own, to manufacture their own product. Exoco Bio is really poised to move into clinical trials very quickly. So that is very exciting. I think. So MSC exosomes has been shown to be effective against more than 30 diseases already. And that list probably will be inc increased over the years. So even if Exoco Bio go into clinical trial for a couple of diseases, there's still plenty of fishes in the pond. And uh, we will probably have job for a long time <laughs> to continue working for other diseases. So I think Exoco Bio has taken a wide strategy to target uh, skin diseases. So there's plenty of things that we can do. Um, and also, um, hopefully we will be able to get to the really difficult disease to treat in the future.